hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy earrings so keep watching to make the earrings i will be using anchor thread number 8 0.5 mm crochet hook earring hook jump ring scissor plier and glue so these are the things required for the tutorial i'll be using a larger size yarn and hook so that it's easy to follow we are going to start the pattern with a slip knot. Chain 3, which will be counted as 1 double crochet. Now we are going to make 2 double crochet in the very first chain. We have completed two double crochet including chain three we have a total of three double crochet stitches so this is going to be the first row of the pattern chain three for the next row turn our work in the same stitch we are going to make one more double crochet now we are going to chain six We are going to skip one stitch in the next stitch make two double crochet so this is our chain three we are going to make two double crochet in the third chain We have completed two double crochet and with that a second row is completed. We are going to start with the next row, chain one. We are going to turn our work and make one half double crochet in the same stitch. One half double crochet in the next stitch. Next we have chain 6 space. So in this space we are going to make 11 half double crochets. I have completed 11 half double crochet. Now we are going to make one half double crochet each in the last two stitches. In this row we will have a total of 15 half double crochet stitches so our third row is completed for the next row we are going to chain three which will be counted as one double crochet and we are going to chain one we're going to skip one stitch and make one double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch one double crochet in the next stitch chain one we are not going to skip any stitches now and make one double crochet in the very next stitch chain one one double crochet in the next stitch
chain 1, 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, we are going to skip 1 stitch and make 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make 1 double crochet in the last stitch. Row 4 is completed. In this row, we will have a total of 12 double crochet stitches including chain 3. For the next row, we are going to chain 3. In this row, we are going to work 2 double crochet together in each chain 1 space. For double crochet together, we are going to yarn over, insert the hook in chain 1 space, pull up a loop. Pull through two loops, yarn over, insert the hook in the same space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through all the loops from the hook. So this is our first double crochet together stitch. Chain 3. In the next chain 1 space we are going to make two double crochet together, yarn over, insert the hook in chain 1 space, pull up a loop. Pull through two loops, yarn over, insert the hook in the same space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through all the loops from the hook. Chain 3. Make two double crochet together in the next chain 1 space. Chain 3. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll see you guys at the end of the row. This is the end of the row. My last chain 1 is left. I'm going to make 2 double crochet together in the very last chain 1 space. Row 5 is completed. For the last row, we are going to chain 1, turn our work, and we are going to make 3 single crochet in each chain 3 space till the end. We are going to skip double crochet together stitch and make 3 single crochet in the next chain 3 space. So I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So this is the end of the row. We are going to make a slip stitch in the last double crochet together stitch to end the row. And we are going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends. So beautiful pattern is completed and this is for the earrings. I'm going to attach earring hook with the help of jump ring to complete the earrings. So beautiful earring is completed. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.